Right, today I'm going to do the bearings for my axle. So let's get on. I'll just take this tube out so I can then face off that. I'll mount that in the lathe, face that off, just round that off, turn it round in the lathe, do the same this end, and then chop it in half. Then finish machine in this size to fit inside the tube. Right, I'm just starting to face this end off. That bit left in the middle will fit the, in the hole in the chuck. Just carefully take the end off and bring the end off a bit. Just have a look. Yeah, a little more than that. Yeah, a little bit more. Let's just have a look at that. Right, that's rounded off enough, so I can turn that round in the chuck now and do the other end. Right, I've faced off this face, rounded these off a little bit, and these inside faces. What I'll do now is cut that in half, and then work on two separate bearings then.
exit drill just before I put the reamer in. Right, that's a one inch reamer going in there. Well, I'm just machining that part down to fit inside the tube. Right, that's that end machine to go in there. I'll put it in the chuck now and turn this down to the diameter. Look. Right, I'm just facing off this space to make it down to the right thickness. Right, that's one bearing end turned down. Do the other end now. Right, that's the two axle bearings done, and they slide in the tube nicely. Now the four holes that are in the tube, I shall put these bearings in the milling machine and use the same pitch circle diameter to drill through the bearings. Right, I've centred up my bearing using this electronic edge finder. They're quite accurate if you wind that over to the edge. slowly and then you end up getting a little light come on there see and then what you do is you zero off your digital readout and go to the other side and then you can use the half of that measurement for that axis right so now I've got to put a, a Pit circle diameter the same as the tube to get my four holes in there. So let's push that button there. I think that is right. Let me just have a look at that bit of paper. Eight, four, three, five. Yeah, that is right. So I'll stick a I'll stick a uh, centre drill in first, mark the holes and then put the right size drill in. Right, so all I've got to do now is zero out these two X and Y axis and that will give me my first hole there. So I'll just zero that one out. And zero out the y axis. And away we go. Let's start the drill. Right. First one.
Right, so now I'll put the right size drill through. Right, so I'm just going to use the same pit circle diameter settings to go through each hole. Right, that's one bearing drilled, I'll just do the other. Right, that's those drilled, I'll get them bolted into the horn plates now. So that's the axle tube and bearings in place, they're a little bit tight. Room for wear, I expect I'll have to lap them in a little bit with some paste, but that's good. Lovely. Right, the next job I'm going to start now will be these bearings here. I'll make a start on them. There's quite a bit of work. They've got to be machined on that face so it's flat against the horn plate. There's a little bit of horn plate's got to be cut out of there, the curved bit. So that these little bits can fit in. That fit on there, so then it would be machine the top flat, and then you've got the tops as well. So when they're together, there'll be a three quarter inch hole there and there, but as these are aluminium and that, there'll be some phosphor bronze split uh, bearings later on to go in there and they'll be held in place with the tops so let's make a start right I've got this set up in a miller machine what I've got to do is just clean this face up on the drawer and it just says machine to clean up so that's all we're going to do Right, now I've cleaned up this face, the top of this one here to that face has to be one eighth of an inch. So I know I have to take one thirty, I've already measured it, one thirty two off of there. And this one here needs to be thirteen thirty two. So I know I have to take about 232 off of there, a sixteenth. So that's the next job. Right, this face bolts on the outside of the horn plate. Now these two are machined to the right height from that face. So now I shall turn it over and make sure the parts are the right thickness in the areas that matter there. Right, I've had a measure, so I'm gonna just machine this face up to clean it up and then I have to take a 132 off of there and another 232 off there that will make that the right thickness then 
Well, I'm just taking a sixteenth of an inch chopper there. That makes that the right thickness then. Right, that's that one done. Then I've got to take a little bit off the top of that one. Right, that's one casting machined up both sides. On this side, I've got to take that little bit out to allow for that to go in. What I'll do is I'll machine up the other side. And then we'll look at doing the tops and then the holes. Well, I've cut that little bit out there, which allows for that little lump to fit in there. So that'll be going in there. Right, that is both castings machined up for the first and second shafts both sides in the next video I'll be sorting out the tops getting the shaft holes drilled for the bearings because there's going to be some split bearings going in these get that all fitted on and then bolt them onto the horn plates so please subscribe to my channel and join me as I build a two inch scale Fowler Showman's traction engine.